Hello everyone and welcome to this full blue moon in Taurus forecast. It is a very important uh, full moon because it's going to happen on the 31st of October and uh, 2020 and uh, uh, it is also the day, a very important day in the Celtic tradition because it's the day of Sam Win. So it's uh, the end of the harvest, the beginning of uh, symbolically of uh, uh, a season of darkness before we enter, um, we, we have the winter solstice on the 21st, 22nd of, Dece of December, depending on the year. Before we start with the, talking about this full, moon, full blue moon, I would like to share to uh, all of you the fact that we are getting at the school, the International Initiation School, we are getting so really many inquiries from uh, many people all around the world, uh, English, spe English um, speaking uh, people um, who are looking to uh, join our class in an essence classes and our courses. So we have already activated seminar, a weekly seminar, which is called the Rainbow Bridge, when we explore the deep meaning of uh, color as consciousness uh, in relation to our uh, evolu our own evolution uh, of consciousness. So if you want to know more about it, you can still join because we record uh, every, uh, every class and then uh, uh, we it it is still um, it is available uh, for a little bit to be seen, to be watched. So, if should you like to join that course, you still have a week uh, to be able in order to be able to watch uh, uh, the previous lessons and join the next one. And then all the other thing is that uh, starting from the new year, uh, from uh, the new. We are going 2021. We are going to start the weekly classes and English classes. So, if you would like to join us again, please contact the school office. The uh, email address is uh, here below, um, secretary at internationalinitiationschool.com. And there will be also a seminar uh, translated in English uh, about uh, Hebrew, let Hebrew letters and uh, in relation to the tarot cards. So in the, um, uh, the beginning of December. So again, uh, you can look at all of that. And if you want to know more, you can um, check our website uh, uh, www.internationalinitiationschool.com. Uh, some of the courses um, for 2020 are not on the website yet because because we decided, because of the COVID situation, we only decided it, it uh, yesterday. So, but they will be there soon. But for any information, you can really contact our school office and you will receive all the dates and plans and uh, schedule for the courses. Our website is in Italian. When you open it, it is in Italian, but there is also the possibility to read it in English. So I'm very happy about it because uh, many people all around the world, from America to Malaysia, Australia, are really uh, joining our classes and it's really very beautiful because especially at this time, uh, uh, at this point in time, uh, we are all going through really huge change. Uh, this pandemic disease is really asking us to move into the new and then shift our consciousness deeply. And in order to do that, especially now, we really ask to shift in consciousness, to open ourselves to a new way of looking at ourselves, uh, at the relationship with ourselves, uh, uh, other people, and life. So very important time. And this also is what this full moon is, or that we're going to have on Saturday, is all about. Because this full moon is uh, uh, a very special moon, energetically very special moon, because. Uh, it is a blue moon, and a blue mean a blue moon means that it's the second full moon of the month. You know, we had one uh, uh, full moon in Aries on the th on the first of uh, uh, October, and uh, we are going to have the the second uh, 
uh, full moon uh, uh, in Taurus on the 31st of October. So the beginning and the end. So this month uh, is really holding, uh, holding together a very important uh, uh, shift uh, that is going to manifest in the next two months. So one is a new beginning, 31 is uh, uh, the end of a cycle because as we know 31 is generally the last uh, day of the of a month uh, and also it is uh, the last day of the year. We all celebrate uh, the new year on the 31st of December. It is really a shift, uh, new beginning, ending and they are coming together uh, everything is coming all together in this really in this in 2020 but specifically at this time of the year we are in the season aut of autumn or fall ruled by archangel michael who has really the purpose the the the, uh, the task to cut all the uh, bonds uh, all the things that we no longer need in order to move into the new moon celebration is going to uh, um, is a celebration of the end of the harvest but also the beginning of a sort of a dark sea, dark time where we prepare, we prepare the soil, we prepare the womb of the earth in order to be ready to receive the new light, the new energy. And uh, uh, the uh, meridian associated to Taurus, the triple warm meridian, is really strictly related to the uterus, to the womb, because it's going, it's talking about really a process of, uh, is asking us to find, uh, is supporting the process of uh, um, finding our own individuality in being who we truly are. So this is a big point because where are we at this point we are asked this pandemic disease is really um, asking us to stay at home and change the way we relate uh, uh, to others uh, and the way the way we relate to life the way we relate to ourselves because uh, uh, relationship is the key of this uh, this big shift because we normally go out and uh, relate but we don't really think ab ab um, about the concepts or the consequences of uh, how we relate and what we do in life how our own choices our own things are going to affect uh, conscious or unconscious uh, the world around us this full moon is asking is holding us you know most of the countries in the world are going in uh, another lockdown and we are asked to stay at home and uh, uh, we are asked to stay by ourselves and withdrawn because uh, this withdrawing is going to trigger a process of uh, inner, uh, um, inner exploration to really understand what we want, who we are, where we want to go. And this is also, you know, this is also what this moon talks about, is a time of uh, we are suspended, suspended in time. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but is needed. Is uh, the, this dark, symbolic darkness is needed in order to re be able to open to the new. And bear in mind that December will be a month uh, of uh, different kind of uh, events uh, and celebration because we have the advent that this time is, this year is going to uh, to start uh, on the 29th of uh, November so it's going to embrace uh, mostly the whole month we're going to have the, the full uh, lunar eclipse uh, on the 14th of December which is uh, very important because it's going to trigger uh, that moon, that full moon is going to to represent the, the the seed on the new of the new beginning and that moon is going to happen again on the 14th which in esoteric numerology is uh, the power of the word uh, the creative force the kundalini energy so a burst uh, an outburst of new fresh energy because we're going in 2020 uh, 21 which is uh, the manifestation of the a new idea and then also we are going to have uh, uh, the solstice uh, the winter solstice which is the darkest night of the year but also is symbolic of the birth of the sun so the birth of the light and again also christmas which is the birth of the Christ so and the Christ was born in a cave you know again in the darkness the the light 
um, comes from the darkness. So the importance of this uh, symbolically dark time where we have the possibility to go within and and then uh, listen, no. nurture uh, the big shift uh, that through us is going to happen in our life and around us. So it is really a very, very important time. Luna, this lunation, as I said, blue moon, the second blue moon, uh, full moon of the year, but also is a micro moon. What is a micro moon? A micro moon is a moon that uh, happens, uh, uh, is going to be, uh, is further away from Earth than usual. And then it is said that uh, it's going to bring uh, weather, uh, bad weather, natural uh, disaster, and so on. But what uh, is very important for us. Uh, is the fact that we it's going to have uh, to have a great influence on our moods so um, and move a lot of energy and this move this energy is mainly moved you know triggered by two uh, important planets that are going retrograde at this point in time uranus and mars which create a, a, a very interesting aspect. They move, move energy, especially Uranus. Uranus is a conjunct to the, you know, at the same degree of the moon. So eight degrees, uh, 38. And uh, Uranus is eight degrees, 41. So big shift, uh, big energy. So the moon, bear in mind that the moon is, represents our needs, uh, is the our old identity, is our, mm, the mind, you know. And uh, it's going to break those uh, uh, because we are asked, the Sabian symbol is talking about faith in a cycle renewal. So, and the symbol of the sun, uh, 8 degrees 38, uh, uh, the sun is conjunct Vulcan, which is uh, an esoteric planet, invisible planet, uh, orbiting around the sun before uh, very, very close to the sun, is between Mercury and the sun. And that, that degree of the sun is talking about destroying and rebuild. So is uh, um, the sun is in Scorpio, which is a test uh, and early orientation. And the moon is in uh, Taurus, uh, that is about the breaking of our old desire and moving from desire to aspiration, a new aspiring to be something, which is really the potential of a new energy and a new thing. The moon is also conjunct uh, uh, the Lilith, uh, which is talking about an electric storm, because there is a lot of big cosmic power uh, um, transforming our existence and he's talking about a big inner revelation that we are going to uh, to have so there will be a very very strong uh, energy moving you know this is why we see around the world we see also in Italy many people um, having out you know emotional outburst uh, because uh, is triggering a shift a change breaking the old way of uh, behaving and then he's also asking us to withdraw, withdraw within, because uh, only um, we may experience a sort of a lack of potency, but this lack of potency is going to uh, support, uh, bring uh, uh, an inner, um, a new way of looking at things and bring also serenity. So these lockdown happen happening in different parts of the world, of the world are asking us to look to look at life as a mirror. What is on the outer is actually inside. And then uh, Sun, uh, Vulcan, Uranus and uh, the Moon create an 8888 uh, eight, eight, eight portal, which is a 32. So 4, 8 together and 8 is the energy of re reorganization, reorientation, new uh, beginning because the 8th day of the week is the new uh, the beginning of the new week but also is destroying it's talking about destroying, um, uh, rebuilding, um, shifting, alignment so we are on a threshold of a big time and uh, that we need, but before we move into the new, we need to complete any undertaking uh, because uh, only 
if we complete that, we are going to really uh, enter what is uh, whatever is going to be found beyond. Things are going to be triggered. Uh, th things are going to happen, but uh, the change won't happen now. It will take still a few couple of months until the, by the end of the year, more or less, because the, the final full moon will be on the 14th, as I said, but uh, it's the end of the year and uh, it, there will be 15 days to the end of the year, so practically the new year. So the new things will happen in the new year and then we, are, we still need to hold our energy a little bit because we are completing something, we are moving, um, we are competing something because we have to understand something. So it's not because we are not ready, but as we say, uh, we still need to uh, complete uh, um, and uh, be fully ready to move into the new. So this time, the time of, that's going to start with this at this time of this new moon, and the celebration of Sam, Sam Huin is uh, a big, uh, uh, a, a time of waiting, you know, a waiting time uh, where uh, things are going to be um, prepared and the seed is going into the earth, it's going to be held by the earth, you know, our mother earth to prepare the new to come. The 31st uh, um, is uh, in esoteric uh, numerology is uh, the flag bearer. So is we are asked also because the ruler, one of the ruler of uh, Scorpio, the sun is in Scorpio, is Mars. And Mars here, that is retrograde, 16 degrees 26 in Aries, um, the sign that Mars rules, uh, one of the signs that Mars rules, is... Uh, a, a, a different kind of Mars is a, a spiritual warrior. So we need to hold on to that ch big change that we are asked to go through. And uh, Mars is going to give us the strength to uh, uh, overcome uh, all the challenges in order to reach before we reach our goal. And no, our this all these are obstacles in the. Uh, on the, in the physicality, you know, or uh, within ourselves, because bear in mind that the meridian ruled by Taurus is the triple warm and meridian, and the triple warm and meridian is uh, the balance between the inner and the outer, and also the balance between the physical, uh, the mental, and the emotional. So we are asked to remain centered and don't allow obstacle to stop us moving forward because this, this going, we are going to initiate our own realization is the time for us to be who we are meant to be and um, uh, if we don't uh, uh, follow that energy if we stay in fear which is another aspect uh, or grief which is an as another aspect of the triple woman meridian we are going to uh, not to move into the in, into the new and uh, because bear in mind that fear is uh, not positive for our uh, our um, immune system our, um, immune system um, gets weaker and weaker the, the more we the more fear we have the weaker our immune system gets so we need really need to stay centered and whatever happens uh, move into into the new. Um, this month the, uh, is a 10 month, as I said before, uh, it is called spirit born out of matter. It's, you know, the new energy moving, the, a new energy coming out of the potential. But for example, in the Orosoma system, uh, 10 is uh, uh, the bottle going to a tree which is about, we have the month, uh, we, it is, we, we call it the metronome, it's the testing energy. So we are asked to ponder what is true for us. As we say in, the, in Orosoma, it's not what we do, but the way we do what we do. So we are asked to understand what we have created, why we have created it, and then if the, what was the quality of consciousness behind that, what we had created be, before what created before and what is the new quality of consciousness uh, that uh, 
that is going to drive us to move us out and drive our um, nurture our relationship in the world 31 in 10 is a 41 so a new wheel into the personality breaking the old limitation the, the old limitation uh, break the old uh, the limitation of the mind and realizing uh, our spiritual nature is this really what i want is this is really the life i'm i want 41 in the hebrew letter is a mem which is 40 means meaning water and aleph one meaning ox it's the principle of individuality individuality being incarnated in the physical life so there will be a big flow because the ox is strength, power, energy. Bear in mind, it used to be this animal was uh, uh, used uh, by farmers in the old time, you know, uh, to, to prepare the soil, you know, for seeding and uh, to seed, you know, to plant new new seeds for the for the new harvest. But uh, it means really that it's going to be a very a flow of event or or time that a rushing stream of water that is going to separate uh, um, the old from the new is going to you know in, in Hebrew the word badal means to separate uh, and, in, in, and it is uh, equal to 41 so a big separation is going to happen and then the total amount the total addition of the day is uh, of this lunation is 45 which is about look up to the light remember to look up to the light to go beyond the ending to move into the new to move into the new beginning um, if you want to support this big shift of energy from uh, the physical as energetical aspect uh, very good is licorice and valerian uh, you know and then uh, from the crystal point of view quartz the rose quartz tiger eye and uh, also uh, citrine so because uh, the tiger eyes uh, eyes support our emotional balance uh, um, the balance between the physical and the, the spiritual the rose cause the emotional balance and then the citrine brings the divine energy into form we are really asked to um, move uh, find how to think about how we distribute our life force our life energy how we relate and then because the way we distribute talks about also the way we relate so we we need truly to find our own way of relating to the world and then in order to do that uh, we really need to become conscious of who we, are, we truly are and what we are Bear in mind that coral, uh, the tor uh, Taurus, the moon in Taurus, is uh, associated to coral. And coral is moving from competition to cooperation, uh, moving from feeling separated to feel, uh, to have a new consciousness, the new man, the new woman, uh, the new energy moving through. Uh, we need to take uh, this uh, opportunity and not to leave it behind. So instead of uh, looking, uh, you know, being frightened by what happens, take this opportunity from, uh, from the cosmos uh, to move into the new, to really uh, take time to reflect, to ponder what we are, who you are, how you want to relate, what you want to be, and then plant the womb for the new soil, to be, the new seed to be planted. So wishing you a wonderful full blue moon and of a wonderful ce celebration of Samhain. Take time to listen to your deep, deep inner self. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.